Welcome to Apple EDC. If you use Apple Notes to do research, this shortcut is for you. Our last video introduced a new action released with iOS 26 called Use Model. Whoa! It's the magic shortcut glue that lets us interact directly with ChatGPT and Apple Notes. We called our last shortcut Chat Note. What are the effects of aspirin on blood pressure? Please note the OpenAI disclaimer when using ChatGPT. And in this video, we'll introduce an expanded version I like to call Chat to Brain. Since I use Apple Notes as kind of my second brain. Anyway, this one gives us a way to interact with ChatGPT through the Ask for Input action. So we can either type, paste, or dictate our chat query. The Ask for Input action sends that query to the Use Model action, which connects directly to ChatGPT through an extension which we first enable in Settings. That's under Apple Intelligence and Siri. Once the Use Model action does its thing, our shortcut uses the Text action to assemble a container with the current date and time, our query, and the ChatGPT response. That's automatically copied to the clipboard, so you can paste it as you like. Next, we present a handy menu with these choices. Make a new note with the chat, query, and response. It gives us the option to add an existing tag if we want. The next option is pick one of our most recent notes so we can paste the chat information directly into that note. And lastly, just display the clipboard with the chat information. This option is handy if you plan to copy your chat into a document or mail it to someone, etc. If you'd like to download this shortcut, please see the description for a link to it, a link to a bookmark icon, and of course, a list of ways you can support our efforts here at Apple EDC. Okay, here's how to download and install the shortcut. From the link in the description, you'll get this screen and wants to know if you want to set up the shortcut. Note that it says that Siri can run this shortcut. So we set up the shortcut and it asks us what folder we want to store our content in. The default is Notes. However, I like to put mine in my second brain. So we're going to add the shortcut and I already have this shortcut. So we'll say keep both. And you may not see it if your phone switches to the gallery view. So switch back to the library view and under all shortcuts, you should see it. From there, you can just run it, or if you tap the three ellipses, you can edit it to your liking. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.